Good morning. This is the uh, demonstration of the free boil stove. Normally it's in this configuration, uh, optimized to boil water, but we're going to reconfigure it with uh, pan supports. These are the pan supports. So I've already uh, heated up some coffee water. This is the pot, 16 ounce beverage can. And I'm going to remove the uh, chimney combination chimney and windscreen and reconfigure it <coughs> with these uh, uh, two aluminum pieces that make up the um, pan support and use the same rod here normally this supports the uh, pot and holds the chimney together but now put it like that and it makes it so it won't move it's uh, and also it, it has these uh, stability rods for the whole stove so we're not gonna move pan goes on top of it so let's get started there's what I have here is uh, <coughs> it starts with uh, three scores of squares of toilet paper there's one square square for the uh, fuse and then inside there's uh, a couple others so we'll get going here it starts very quick I'll put the pan on and you can see it's it's very stable Let me move that over okay we already got a flame going because the stove it's all insulated notice it's sitting on a on a sheet of paper and I'll show you that it doesn't even scorch the paper so <clears throat> so like I said here we go with uh, I've already done the coffee and uh, now we reconfigured it for a pan support and <clears throat> let's get this heated up a little little bit more and we'll, then we'll put here we go. I think it's probably enough. Yeah. We'll make a, a pancake here. Okay. And we, I have to pay attention to these sticks here because we just burned the tip of the tips of the sticks. So. You can see <clears throat> we're already cooking. There we go. Now the fire's getting hotter, so it won't smoke quite as much. Smoke's just starting up, and I'll keep these sticks going. Hey, it's going so fast, maybe we'll make two pancakes here. So you see the fire there. Um, like I said, <clears throat> it's a free boil stove, weighs five and a half ounces. Th those uh, pan support pieces weigh uh, three quarters of an ounce if you want to carry those along. But then you have to have a fry pan and all that kind of stuff. But optimally, you just boil water. But I want to show you that you can uh, fry, uh, fry fish if you go fishing. There it goes. We'll turn this over. There's a pancake. <coughs> um, so, let, let's keep this going. It only burns the tips of the sticks, so I have to keep moving it in. And it's very wind resistant because the fire is internal especially when you're uh, boiling water. The uh, chimney is also a windscreen. Let's see here. Yep, we're pretty good. Okay, there, there's one pancake. <coughs> Since we're doing so well here, I think I'll, 
I'll do another pancake before we do the... There we go. Another pancake. Uh, if you want to just simmer, you can use uh, big sticks. I don't have any big sticks with me, but if you use like three quarter, a couple of three quarter inch sticks, <coughs> uh, like larger than, than this one, and you put them in there, you can actually uh, simmer for a while without having to uh, tend the stove so much. So You see we have a little bit of wind here, which is just right. And <coughs> the fire is hotter, so there's less smoke. Uh, we'll <coughs> wait for this uh, pancake to, to, for the, uh, it looks like it's about ready to turn over. Okay, there's another pancake. Use a, use a larger larger stick here now that it's uh, pretty hot so like I said uh, <coughs> well it's insulated on the bottom and it's actually got a raised bottom so that I'll show you at the end that it doesn't scorch the paper it's insulated for about a half inch here three quarters of an inch insulation up to here <coughs> you can see where it gets <coughs> where it gets hot right here by the change in color. This is all <coughs> all titanium to so all the rod material stainless steel so there's nothing to corrode. It'll last forever. Okay, I think <coughs> we're okay. Now we had two pancake here. Oh got a Watch, this handle's a little bit heavy on the end here. So, let me see. I think we'll let that have a little bit of oil here. <coughs> and we'll do these, pan these eggs. Um, Okay, keep the fire going. Yeah. Use some bigger sticks now that it's already going. This handle here is a, a little bit heavy. So <clears throat> I have to put the handle in line with the pot support and that gives it its most stable. Keep this fire going here. Uh, a little bit of salt and pepper. There's a little salt. And some pepper. <clears throat> this is an unedited video. So I'm going to leave that <clears throat> or the pan fell off. I'll just leave that on there. So you can see it's <clears throat> really cooking now. Keep, you can adjust the, the uh, heat by the uh, size and the amount of sticks you put in there. So we're doing good. These eggs will be uh, easy over well, no, maybe I'll just scramble them. I'll just scramble them. It's a little faster to scramble. That way it's thoroughly cooked. This is a little aluminum pan from REI. And it's Teflon coated. Works very well. And it has uh, ridges on the bottom of the pan so it's less apt to uh, slip. Put these sticks in here. So we're just about done. I'm not going to add any more sticks because there's a lot of hot coals in there. Okay. 
Okay. So that's pancakes and eggs. And the coffee came earlier when I was using the uh, boiler pot configuration. Okay. <clears throat> so eggs are done. I'll set this aside. <clears throat> and uh, I'll show you. Th these are the uh, th these are the support uh, the stove support rods there that actually fold up. But that's a whole other video. There's actually three three other videos. Let me. Oh, that's a little hot. So let me show you. Well, there's the piece of paper that was under it. You can see the paper isn't even scorched. So. Um, we'll put that under there and let things cool down. So, thank you for attention. <clears throat> uh, like I said, there's three other videos. Uh, one's a windy night. <clears throat> one just shows this boiling water. And there's one that shows how the stove assembles and disassembles. So, thank you for watching. Bye.